Taking a look at another example where, again, we're simplifying algebraic terms. So I'm looking, I don't see any plus or minus, I don't have to worry about like terms. I'm noticing I've got both brackets, timesing, and the big fraction here, so I am dividing. So it's kind of applying a little bit of everything. So go back to your order of operations, think about doing your BEMA first. So in this case, I'm going to be thinking about my brackets. So my first step, deal with that bracket. I've got a power of 3 to the outside here. So I'm going to put that onto everything inside by timesing the power inside by the power outside. Remember, you can put in little invisible powers there if you want little invisible power of 1. So 3 times 1 becomes three, 2 to the power of 3. 1 times 3 again becomes a to the power of 3. And b to the power of 2, 2 times 3 becomes b to the power of 6. There was a time sign there. Okay, so next thing. I'm going to have a time sign there, and again, trying to put that power through to everything. That's going to be not 3, but 3 squared. Then I have a. It was a to the power of 3. We'll times that by the 2. You get a to the power of 6. b with a little invisible 1. It was b. It will become b squared for 2 times 1. And on the bottom, we still have 144. a to the power of 12 b to the power of 4. So the next step for me is on the top of that fraction, I notice I have a time sign. I can probably um, think about using my power rules to combine these. So let's simplify. 2 to the power of 3 becomes 8. So I might write it over here. 8 a 3 b 6 times 9 a 6 b 2 all over 144, a 12, b to the power of 4. Alright, so 8 times 9 becomes for us um, 72. So we have 72. And then looking at combining the, the terms with the, or sorry, combining the variables here that have the same base to figure out how many we've got. So I've got a to the power of 3 and a to the power of 6, so that gives me a total of a to the power of 9. I'm just going to combine the tops here first. That should be a 9. And I have b to the power of 6 and b to the power of 2. So again, we're adding them here because we're timesing. That becomes b to the power of 8. And we're going to be dividing by 144. a to the 12, b to the 4. Next step for me is to look at simplifying this fraction. Now that I've got one term on top and one on the bottom, let's see what we can do. I'll look at the numbers first. 72 and 44, that can actually simplify to 1 half. I notice that 2 times 72 will get me 144. So I've got 1 on top and 2 on the bottom. Looking at the a's, I have a to the power of 9 on the top and a to the power of 12 on the bottom. Well, when I'm doing division of power rules, you can think about doing subtraction. That's 9 take away 12 gets you a negative 3. Or you can also just think about, well, what's the difference between these and where the leftover is going to be. So the difference between 9 and 12 is 3, and I know since there's more of them on the bottom, those leftovers will go on the bottom as well. And b8 on top and b to the power 4 on the bottom. So I know I have a difference between those of 4. There's more on top. That's where the leftovers will go. So I've got 1b to the power of 4, 2a to the power of 3. And we can just write that as b to the power of 4 over 2a to the power of 3. And just so people see that, if they are thinking about, th I mean, this is a fine answer, you can stop there, but if you are thinking about subtracting powers when you are dealing with the exponent rules and you're dividing here, just so people get a chance to see that, that a9 minus 12 becomes negative 3. And then that b becomes b positive 4, because 8, it's always top minus bottom, 8 minus 4 is just positive 4. And this 72 over 144 still simplifies to 1 half. You could actually write your answer like this, as long as you've got that negative 3 there, because a power of to the negative 3 is the same thing as a power that's positive, but written on the bottom. So for instance, a to the power of negative 3 is the exact same thing as a, sorry, 1 over a to the power of 3. So again, if you don't worry about negatives, just think about canceling them off and think about where the leftovers go, and this works fine for your answer.